Nigeria is singing a new song with the successful transition of power from one democratically elected government to another after former President Muhammadu Buhari handed over power to President Bola Chinubu. Getting here wasn't an easy task, as acknowledged by President Chinubu. It's been a very, very long and rough journey. And I say this with all sense of responsibility. It's been a journey of over 20 years of a man who had prepared himself for the office, of a man who had an ambition, of a man who set out the goals over 20 years ago. Bola Tinubu certainly is not an accidental president. First and foremost, let me congratulate all Nigerians, you know, for witnessing today, um, as it is um, rightly tagged during the campaign, Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tinubu is bringing in renewed hope for Nigerians. And if you listen carefully to his um, speech, he says we all must unite. We must unite because we don't have any other country. It is not out of place that some Nigerians have reservations and probably not expecting much. 2015, Nigerians had such high expectations, you know, and um, uh, it didn't exactly work out the magic they expected to see, they didn't see it. So I see that this time around, people are like, well, that's how we said in 2015, everything is going to be perfect and then, so people are now more, more cautious you know, based on that past experience. So that's why I said mixed uh, expectations. People, Mr. Tasewaju is that person who knows the right people to bring around him. What the president needs is people who will work with him. The, the sharp minds, the bright people who can work with him. You are a coach. You don't have to be the best player. But you must be that person who has the insight to know this is a, the best right winger, the best left winger, and the best centre forward. That's what you need, and that's the kind of person that Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu is. He has the feeling of the people. He's sensitive to the plight of the people. And I am assuring you that the Nigerian, the Nigeria that we are going to witness today will be a Nigeria that in another four years, to start with, everybody will be taken in. Nobody will be left out. A cross-section of Nigerians has repeatedly echoed the level of disunity in Nigeria. President Tinubu has the daunting task of unifying the country. Yes, there are agitations. I mean, I come from the southeast. Uh, many of us think that uh, we have not been given an opportunity to uh, run this country. Yes, you know, we have not. But at this point in time, you know, Asiwajibola Metinubu has been ordained by God to be the president. And if that, if we all believe in God, we know that God cannot allow what he doesn't want to happen. So if he had designed it so, all we need to do is as an integral part of Nigeria to extend, you know, our, our friendship to Asiwaju and make sure that we stand by him. I do not see uh, the reason why Asiwaju should be sentimental because Ashwaju is standing today as president and Shetim as vice president by the power of Almighty God. But the God using the northerners, the north said they want power to shift to the south. If the north wanted to be sentimental, they would have brought the candidate and Ashwaju wouldn't be standing today. But the north said they want power to shift to the south. And the north didn't do that alone. They went for that to vote him. So why would he now come there and say he's going to be? He's not going to do that. Because what brought him to office was on the basis of fairness.